May as well eat it. You won't be getting anything else. Let her have some cereal. Not enough milk. And besides, she's only been awkward. Ready for school? Anya hasn't had any breakfast. Yeah, lifelong vegetarian since this morning. What? If she doesn't like the bacon, she can just eat the eggs and beans. They've touched the bacon. Oh, for goodness sake. Just let her have what she wants. Attention! All she's ever after. Well, she's 11. What's your excuse? Jimmy? If she wants to go off meat for a while, let her. That's just the start. The next thing we know, she'll be all dreadlocks and craft fairs. And that bothers you why? Fine. Forget it. Let her eat what she wants. I'm just saying that this is how it starts, indulging their every whims, and the next thing you know, you've got a problem teenager on your hands. And one of them's enough for any household. Was that aimed at me? Come on, get your stuff. I'll get you a bag of lettuce for your tea. See ya. How is it that the older one gets, the less one seems to sleep? In your case, I'd say guilty conscience. <laughs> Hello. What's this? Lover's death. Sorry? Flowers in the bin. Uh, shoved through the letterbox by car. Can I have a quick word? I'm running a bit late. Have you got a rabbit? <laughs> Anya's gone vegetarian. Well, it's her I want to talk about, and um, Thomas. Join the queue. Now, I know how hard it is to be a good parent. Yeah. Yeah. But what they did yesterday was totally unacceptable. I know, I'm sorry. I've never been quite so angry. I don't blame you. And the flowers that they stole from the church were found pushed onto our doormat yesterday. They still say they didn't do that. Well, they would do, wouldn't they? They've owned up to everything else. Well, the flowers didn't just push themselves through the letterbox. No. So we'll accept your offer to um, replace them. How much? About 40. That should cover it. Thank you. And, uh, Carl, you really should keep a closer eye on those two. <laughs> Do you Hello? Sandy? Uh, uh. If you sleep all day, you're never going to get off tonight. What time is it? Well, uh, it's after one. Just in time for lunch. You've left the door wide open. Oops. Well, I'm not looking after the children, am I? No, luckily not. So there's no need to tell the other half, is there? Aww. Tea? No, thanks. I'm all right. Mm. Laurel, I know it's the middle of the day, but I don't suppose you'd like to join me for um, a lie down? Uh, your dad's just put the kettle on. Would you like some tea? I suppose a minute alone with my wife's out of the question. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I can't find her anywhere. I'm sorry? It's Tootsie. She's gone. Someone's taken...